Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express Science Lesson Video, Natural Resources and Pollution. In this lesson, learners will be able to list the natural resources found on Earth, describe ways to prevent pollution of natural resources, define the term non-renewable resources. Let's find out what are natural resources. Natural resources are material found in the environment that are useful to humans. There are two types of natural resources. Natural resources can be grouped as renewable or non-renewable. Renewable resources can be replaced or use over and over. These include our soil, air, water, and trees. A non-renewable -re resource is a resource that cannot be replaced easily or reused. Example, fossil fuels, such as oil, coal, and natural gas. When natural resources such as the air, the soil, and the water become polluted, they are unsafe for us. Pollution occurs when harmful substances can contaminate the air, the land, or the water. The harmful substances are pollutants. Air can be polluted in several ways. First, air can be polluted by smoke from chimneys or factories, smoke from vehicles, or smoke from burning a fire. The pumping of exhaust fumes from motor vehicles and smokestacks of factories and ships and smoke from cigarettes are common causes for air pollution. Acid rain, let's talk about this. When these pollutants mix with water vapor in the air, they produce acid rain. Acid rain can contain a combination of gases and solid particles and produce smog. Chlorofluoral carbon. What is chlorofluoral? carbon. Air can also be polluted by the addition of this chlorofluoral carbon. The short name of it is CFCs. These are gases used in refrigerators, air conditioners, and fire extinguishers. They flow to the top of the atmosphere and break down the ozone layer. This allows harmful radians, radiation from space to enter the atmosphere. The radiation causes humans to develop cancer. The greenhouse effect. Let's talk about the greenhouse effect. Another harmful effect of air pollution is the greenhouse effect. This is the trapping of heat in the atmosphere. Land pollution. People cut forests for furniture. Plastic is the main source of land pollution. People throw House garbage on the lands and on the roads. 
some industry throw their waste on the land. The land is also being polluted. Garbage from homes and businesses and chemical waste from industry and farming are being dumped into or on the land. Land pollution can be reduced in a number of ways, including the use of specially designed landfills and leak-proof cans. Prevention of land pollution. How can we prevent? One, people should not cut trees for making furniture. Two, people should not throw garbage on land. Three, plastic bags should be avoided for prevention of land pollution. Four, industries should not throw their waste on land. Most of the water on earth is salt water. Both salt water and fresh water are being polluted by a variety of sources, including sewage, garbage, chemicals, motor oil, bleach. Chemicals also used by fishermen to catch fish. These are polluting the water. What does pollution cost? Pollution promotes the breeding of vectors and also provide vectors with homes. Biodegradable, what is it? Some items that pollute the resources are biodegradable. Items that can be broken down easily these are biodegradable items that can be broken down easily. However, others are non-biodegradable. They do not decompose like vegetables or the fruit or meat we eat. They stay on the earth for a long time. That is non-biodegradable. Now let us look at the third form of pollution. Previously, we had land pollution and air pollution. Now we are going to look at water pollution. Factories throw their waste in water bodies. People bathe and wash clothes in water bodies. Some oil ships sink in water, which affects the aquatic life. And smoke from the hickle causes the rivers to dry. Here is water pollution. So many things are affecting the water. How do we prevent water pollution? First, factories should not throw their waste in water bodies. Second, people should not bathe and wash clothes in rivers or lakes. And three, people should not take their animals to take bath in rivers or lakes. Conservation, how do we conserve our resources. First, let's find out what is the definition of conservation. Conservation is the wise use of natural resources. And our natural resources can be conserved in three ways. One, reducing, use only what is needed. Two, reusing, use things again, and the third one, recycling. Recycle whatever 
or wherever possible. Now let us look at the objects and let us tell if they are natural or man-made. Okay, pause the video and let's see. We have the yarn, we have the chalk and the iron and the water bottle, the earth, the glove, the coal. We have some wood, the cotton, the window made from glass and aluminum. We have here, we have the oil. And last but not least, we have the brick, which are natural, which are man-made. Let's see. That's right. The chalk is natural. The coal, natural. The oil, natural. The wood, natural. The earth, natural. Very good. Those things are from natural resources. We also have the plant, the cotton plant, natural resources. So therefore, we have the yarn is man-made. The iron or steel is man-made. The plastic, water bottle made from plastic, is man-made. Here we have the glove that is made from plastic, it's also man-made. We have the brick, it's man-made. The window, also man-made. And yes, we have here the steel rods, they are also man-made. This has been your lesson on natural resources and pollution.